How's it going everyone? So today I'm going to talk about how to get big quads. So before I get started, please subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. I do appreciate the support. It helps my channel grow. Also, if you're interested in online personal training for me, simply comment below in the comment section. I will get back to you guys with more details. So the best exercise for big quads is going to be the squat and the leg press. Those are the best exercise to build big quads. Why do I like the squat? Why do I like the leg press? Squat will make your legs big because it's a compound movement and it's one of the main movements to get big legs. Squats though, in my opinion, are for beginners, but you gotta make sure you're doing it correctly if you're a beginner. Have a trainer, have someone watching you just so you understand how to get the proper training in. Um, so many beginners hurt themselves. That's, that's why I like the leg press for beginners. And then intermediates, advanced, once you've built a little bit of muscle, then doing the squat is perfectly fine. But again, so many people injure themselves doing the squat. They injure mainly their, their abductors or adductors from knee caving in, knee valve glasses, um, as well as lower back from having uh, a butt wink. So having their lower back go from rounded to straight, or sorry, straight to then round it at the bottom, that's a butt wink. You do not want that, it will cause damage. So squats, leg presses, leg presses are safer in my opinion. I will put a link in the description box if you guys are interested in purchasing a leg press. One of the best purchases you can buy for your home. So again, the leg press allows you to overload on your quads without having to use any supporting muscles. Squats, you need to have a strong upper back a strong core and good posterior chain. If any of these muscles are not up to par, your squat will not be good. Another thing to consider is limb lengths. There are two types of lifters, long torso and short legs, and short torso and long legs. If you have a long torso and short legs, you're built to squat. Any leg movement will come super easy to you because your legs are so short. If you have short torso and long legs, that's me. My torso is here to here. That's it. But my legs are super long, even though I'm only 5'9". I have very long legs. Then squatting will be very hard to you. Squatting will suck. The reason why it will suck is because to keep the bar over the middle of your foot, you're going to have to bend over a ton and a lot of people think you're squatting incorrectly, you're actually squatting properly, but to keep that bar over the middle of your foot, you have to bend over a lot. People with shorter torsos, they can remain more upright, do their squats, and that is why, because of gravity and because of the, where the bar is, that's why people with short legs can bench more, or sorry, can squat more than people with long legs. Guaranteed, the short-legged guy is gonna squat more than the long-legged guy uh, if they're competing against each other, trust me. Okay, end of video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please like the video and share it. Thanks again.